here we are with the Youth Companion Magazine of 1910 and we're going to read you a short little story that sounds interesting just by the title and it's called Her Second Best. Quakers believe in a sober garb but they are by no means without the quali quality which would be termed vanity in the world's people. Aunt Peace Lawton had this quality to a marked degree. One day, a strolling photographer asked permission to take a picture of the Lawton family sitting on their velvet lawn. Mr. Lawton gave the permission, but his remarks were not approved by Aunt Peace. When it became evident that her gentle remonstrance had, not, had no effect, Aunt Peace said no more. But at the moment when the photographer said ready and exposed the film, Aunt Peace lifted her spotless handkerchief spread to a snowy square in both hands, hiding her face and head com completely. Why, Aunt Peace, what made you do that? asked her nephew, reproachfully, when he had permission from the photographer to speak. William said the old lady calmly, If thee thinks that I propose to be put in a picture with my second best cap on and my kerchief sadly in need of an iron, thee is greatly mistaken. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed hearing that. Oh my God, that was cute. Okay, that was a good one. You know, you always want to be your best. And back then they were very particular about that. So that was a really, really good story. Okay, stay tuned for more, and be sure to sub me, and I'll bring you some more. Bye-bye now.